everybody, it's Susie. Welcome back. And if you're new, welcome here to Dragonfly Bee's resale journey. In this video, I am going to show you some of, well, all of the things that I found from my trip to Savers. So let's, um, let's dive right in. So first off, I found this pink AB coated marquee shaped stone wreath brooch. I just thought it was really nice. And um, then I realized it's missing a stone right here at the bottom. Or is it the top? I'm not sure how you would wear this. Would it be facing upward? Or would it be like so? It needs a really good wipe. Here's the back side. And um, for the life of me, I took my loop out and I tried to make out what this says here. And it's so difficult to read. Um, I magnified it and I got maybe a M or N and O. <laughs> I don't know, but um, nonetheless, I still think it's quite beautiful. It's gold tone. I love the colors, but unfortunately, it's missing that one stone here on the bottom left. So we have this. Next up, we have this necklace. This is a vintage necklace. Look at the clasp. That's a round box clasp with a, a plastic cabochon dome. It is signed on the back, Hong Kong, right there. And this is a really sweet frosted like a acrylic carved bead and then there's these clear ones that are faceted and then these polished silver tone like saucer uh spacers this is old so let's uh check out that where's that class where'd it go oh here it is let's check this out this is um Oh, that's backwards. It goes like so. So that little lever. Okay. There it is. Let's pop it back in. Make sure it is secure. It is. Um, here, take a close look. It looks a little darker in this camera, but they are a nice light white um, frost color. So this here measures in drop about nine and a half inches. So we have this vintage beauty. Okay, next up we have another vintage necklace. This is um, acrylic beads in an amber tone. Some are more lighter than others, as you can see, like, for instance, this one and that and that. And um, there is a really nice barrel clasp. So let's unscrew that nice and clean and attach it back together. I like the, I like these beads. I mean, they're not amber, but they are amber tone. And then they have these, um, brass bead spacers in between. Uh, this is a vintage necklace, and if you look closer, there is some dullness on some of these beads, like for instance, um, this one. And yeah, this one here just um, stands out. And it is, let's see, where's the end? Where's the end? Oh, here's the end. 
Where is that bead in reference to the necklace? It's up here. So, all right. This looks um, like a pretty good size. This has a drop of 11 inches. So we have this really, really pretty acrylic bead, amber tone necklace with the um, uh, amber tone barrel clasp. Next up is this really awesome, look at this silver tone necklace. Each of these, uh, I guess, links are made up of leaves and maybe two berries underneath. Um, very flexible. There is the back side. It looks to be in pretty nice condition. And there is a fold over clasp at the end. So this is the back side. It is magnetic. It looks pretty nice. Let's look at the top. I see no maker's mark. Just needs a really good clean. There is a fold over clasp, a nice uh, hook. This measures in drop um, eight inches. So you figure around 16 inches around, around the neck. So we have that. Look at this stunner. This feels like crystal. Um, they are definitely glass. Beautiful blue. Faceted. Wow. Um, there's even these smaller ones that are faceted. Really gorgeous. This brass tone little uh, spacers and then if you look close there are clear seed beads right in between where that brass tone bead is and then you have these rhinestone uh, rondelles and when you move up the necklace you have more of those glass faceted beads that are in that have that undertone of blue going through them. I guess they have like an AB coating, yeah. This is something else. And then um, it does end in a lobster claw and there is an extender with the little crystal faceted bead at the end. Looking at it closer, I don't see any um, chips. Or, uh, or cracks. That's most important when, when you're looking at glass. Something else, isn't it? Wow. And the color, oh. This color, this color is really beautiful. Okay, this here has a drop of about eight inches and um, you can length lengthen it with this extender, which falls about three inches long. Just stunning. Okay, next up we have this long gold tone necklace that has, um, oh, look at that. They look like a infinity symbols. Yeah. Or just a twisted, like a, a twisted rope. And then you have uh, these acrylic faceted beads that are double-sided. And um, they're in this really beautiful green shade and as you go down the necklace it continues that pattern so this here 
has no maker's mark, no extender, but it has a long drop of 17 and a half inches. So we have this one. It's in pretty nice condition. Next up, I have another vintage necklace. Look at this chain. It's very substantial. It's really nice. Um, I do have to say there is, um, I bet you it, it had a gold wash because it's more like a silver gold <laughs> tone. You see that? There is a spring ring clasp on one end and that's how you would um, basically put it on. It's holding, look at this finding. It's like textured. Almost looks like a, like a hand. Um, it's holding five strands of clear glass faceted beads and champagne colored faux pearls because of the age i'll bring you close some of those faux, faux pearls are losing right there you see that are losing the gold like for instance look at this one there is a way see right here there is a way to remove that completely and then you would have a bead that would look like this. So this can be revamped by removing, see that coating right here? The coating on these um, champagne tone beads, like right here, look at that, this side. It's all rubbed off. Or keep it as is. I don't know. I like it. Let's um measure the drop on this one. Make some room. This one here has a drop of about eight inches to the shortest strand. And in total, it's a it's almost 11 inches long in drop. So we have um, we have this beauty. This, this a vintage beauty. Okay, next up we have a J. Crew necklace. There is the jewelry tag along with that hanging rhinestone. Um, there's the jewelry tag. It does have a nice extender with two loops. I need to look at jewelry closer when I'm in the store. Um, I love this unique shade. It's more like a really light, light green. And then it, these are um, clear crystal rhinestones. The crystal rhinestones are all there. Then when I got home and I took a look at it, right here, right there. It has the signature like antique um, well, more like a brass tone, antique, uh, gold tone. The uniqueness about this J. Crew necklace is the backside. Look at that. It's like that, I don't know, like that heavy, heavy, uh, rubberized plastic. And it's um, it's like the open back. And let me show you this close up. Let's see. 
Let me get this untwisted first. It's I it got a bit twisted. Okay. One more. Okay. Here you go. See that green color? Um, so there's five of these faceted green beads that make up each leaf, and then a clear marquee-shaped rhinestone. You have all these round rhinestones on the top, and each one of these are the same. Except for this one. This one is missing a clear rhinestone. So this can easily be repaired if you could find a clear marquee shaped rhinestone that would be the same size. And then you can um, attach it to that space. This has a drop of a, um, a little over nine inches and there is an extender. So we have this uh, very nice, unique J. Crew statement necklace. This next necklace is um, pretty unusual. It's made up of three strands, um, and they're tiered. The longest one is, I believe, wood, and hanging off on the bottom is this um, brushed gold tone uh, design with the cylinders and then you have these little triangles uh hanging off it almost like a pendants like the flags then the second strand is this look at that faceted like a gunmetal tone bead and then hanging off of those are these um one two three six-sided shaped They have a little design in them, too. Um, yeah, they're six-sided shaped disc, I guess. And then the shortest strand is this really beautiful pink and like a champagne tone faceted glass bead. And hanging off of that strand are these um, brush tone, brush gold tone diamonds, diamond shapes. There is a spring ring clasp at the end and an extender. There is a jewelry tag and it is a loft. This is a loft necklace. Really unique. I like the colors and I don't mind that wood. Normally, I my, my taste when it comes to... Um, wood jewelry is I like the natural tones but this um this black uh beaded wood component is not um is not bad at all so this has a drop of eight and a half inches to the shortest strand which is the pink one and uh in total it's about ten and a half well no if you include that hanging pendant almost 11 inches and you do have the extender. So we have this really unique loft necklace. Here's another example of me rushing through the um, wax because there was, were a lot of people there um, and coming home with something that I shouldn't have bought because it needs repair. Um, this here, oh, there is a little knot in the extender, but I could get that out. The chain, I noticed, wow, this is a really nice chain and it's clean, there's a lobster claw, and I really did like this design. It's a bib necklace with these like half flowers in a black and clear um, 
like a marquee shaped stone and each one has a rhinestone. All the top rhinestones are there, but as you can see closer, well, let me show you the backside. The backside is even pretty. Isn't that nice? Okay, let's go back to the front and I'll show you where it's missing some. So annoying. Okay, this is a full one. That's a full one. So they alternate with this um, kind of like a clear gray bead and then black. See this black one is complete. This one is complete. This one, not so complete. It's missing the top stone on the upper right hand corner right there. This one is complete. This black one up here is good. This one also missing the same stone on the upper right hand corner. This black one is complete. That one is complete. This one is good too. This black one is nice. That black one is nice. This one is, this one is good. And this one up here is missing the third one right there. So we have three flowers <sighs> that are each missing one. And of course, I didn't notice. I mean, the store wasn't really that bright inside. I guess I still like it anyway. I do. Um, all right, let me measure. Let me measure the drop on this. I, I think it's so pretty. Uh, this one here has a drop of a, about seven and a half inches. And then you do have that extender, which that knot I will take out. So really sweet. And I like how it's constructed. Each one of these are connected by a chain. See that? Okay. Okay, next up, something different. I found this um, a shoulder bag, or I guess it can be a crossbody. This here, I don't know, it's kind of like a suede-like fabric. It has leather um, components as well as brass hardware. And this is by Fossil. And there you go. So let me uh let me go over this. I think it's really sweet. It's perfect for the fall. Um this measures about I would say nine and a half inches across and maybe about let's see if I measure it this way. Eight and a half inches and then diameter is about four inches. So let's take a look at this. It has a front pocket that has a magnetic closure. And there is the inside. It has a nice brown uh, pattern, kind of like a canvas. And, oh, there's a little pen mark right there. This is the inside. So you have some slots there and some more slots on the other side for pens, I guess. But that looks pretty nice. So let's close that part. And then there's a zipper top and inside there is a slip pocket. It looks to be pretty nice. There's a zippered pocket and there's your fossil logo and let's see i know this is difficult to see but i'm trying okay it looks so looks good in there the zipper works good let's check out the top zipper very nice hardware that zips up really nice let's look at the sides the sides even have a little slot pocket. 
Okay, there is some frayed stitching on this side. Let's look at the back. This is the back. Oh, there's a pocket here too. So this pocket is just an open slot, which looks nice. And then on the opposite side is another pocket here. And the stitching here looks, looks good. Now let's look at the strap. I see another mark there. This is a adjustable strap. There is the big brass buckle with the hardware um, that you can adjust. So this strap, let's take a look at the strap. Let's see if there's any um, issues with that. Looks good. Looks very nice. Wipe down. Yeah, the strap looks nice. And then, let's see what else. That's the bottom. Okay, there's a stain right there that I guess um, you could just clean with some OxyClean maybe. And the corners look to be okay. A little wear right there. Yeah, right there. But overall, I think this uh, Fossil is one of my favorite brands. Um, and I think this is in decent condition. So we have this very nice Fossil bag. Okay, that's a wrap on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to get in on these discounted rates. If there's anything you'd like to purchase, email me at dragonflybees at gmail.com. The instructions are in the beginning of my video after my introduction, as well as in the description box below the video. Just click on that little V up I think it's an inverted V or something. And that way it'll open up the um, description box. So thanks everybody. I hope um, to see you soon and have a great day. Bye.